So I read that a couple of days ago, R. Kelly uh, got his, uh, well, I guess his final sentence, you know, and he'll be spending a cumulative uh, 31 years in jail. He's going to serve that concurrently. You know, that's what I hear, you know. And, uh, you know, I have I have feelings about it, okay? I have feelings about it. I have feelings because he, he got the RICO charge, all right? And he was the only guy on the RICO charge. How the fuck do you do a one-man RICO charge? I thought that applied to a group of people. I may be misinformed. Please don't correct me. At this time, it's not needed because the man is behind bars for, you know, his crimes, all right? Uh, what I do have a problem with is that the parents who sold their children, who effectively sold their children to him, are, are not catching any case. They're not doing any jail time. They're going to be free to, you know, they're going to be free, you know, to do whatever they do and shit. To try, probably try to pursue some kind of civil suit and get what's left of his money, you know, leave him destitute behind there. If I was R. Kelly, man, I don't know, you know, maybe he'll be able to release you know, walk out of jail one day when he's a very old man and shit, but, you know, I just think still make, yeah, I still try to make some albums in jail and shit, just to, just to troll, you know, if they let him, you know, I don't know if that's possible, you know, I don't know, you know, maybe somebody can release an album while they're in jail, who the fuck knows, and, uh, <laughs> I think he should do that, and, you know, and I bet you that, like, a lot of these hyenas would, would buy the shit, you know, if R. Kelly was able to release an album, while still being locked up and shit, you know, I bet you a million dollars that I don't have, you know, maybe I'll have one day, uh, I bet you a million dollars that, that sisters would still buy that shit, okay, and you know, while he was, you know, while he was getting his final sentences, uh, two victims under the rape shield law, you know, the rope shield law, you know, they're Jane Doe's, okay, Jane Doe always comes for the black man, all right, so the two Jane Doe's, one of them calls up Nia, though, I was, you know, Nia Doe, I guess, you know, spoke and shit, and the one chick was talking about, oh, this guy used to pick at my flaws while he was doing me, and all this bullshit, and I don't think nobody felt like listening to that crap at all, and she said that he had taken her virginity at age 14, and I thought to myself, like, really, your parents helped him do that, you know, if that's true, he, your parents, they, they sold you like chattel, to this man and shit, if that's true, okay, aren't you mad at your parents, they left you, they didn't parent you properly, they let you go off with a, with a grown man and shit at age 14 to be deflowered and shit, but you ain't gonna hear her talking about none of that shit, another female said some, something, you know, some crap too, and it just reminds me of how, like, sisters, like, when you got a bunch of money and shit, you really gotta hide that shit, okay, you can't, you can't disclose your, your economic status to any female. Okay? You can't do that. Because they're gonna they're gonna fuck it all up and shit. You could barely have them in a room with your anybody of any standing or any economic standing. What they call that shit? Uh high value. If you're a high value in twenty twenty three and shit, it behooves you to keep your assets under the hat. Okay? Don't tell no any female to ask you about your assets or your money. What you have other than what she can plainly see about your person or your raiment or your equipment or your car. Uh, you know, just, you know, dump that bitch. You know, get rid of 86 that motherfucker. Push the eject button. You really can't have it. Look at these, all these guys that were bought down by their women and shit. What's that guy, PB something rock? He got shot at Denny's, you know, in California. No, Roscoe Chicken and Waffle because his female was flossing on uh, social media. He got fucked up and shit. It's always some chick bring you a downfall. I cringe every time I hear some kind of accusation like the Michael Irvin shit, which nobody knows what it is, you know, but they just said in that, that female's a Jane Doe. Like women have the power to hide behind a partition and throw big ass rocks over and hit you in your fucking head, no matter who you are and what your station in life is. So why would anybody want to engage with them in this goddamn country? under this situation that's oppressive and shit, and I'm surprised a lot of guys, you know, a lot of people with money, you know, aren't pushing these politicians, like, hey, you gotta, you, we need some parity here, okay, we need some kind of parity, okay, you gotta do something about some of these laws to make it fair, but they ain't gonna do that shit, because they, it's a gyne gynocratic uh, construct today, it's an Orwellian society, it's ridiculous, 
Our society is falling apart and shit because it's, it's gynocratic and shit. It's falling apart. And I'm a cool with that as a misogynist anarchist and shit. I'm cool with it, man. Let it fucking fail, man. Let, let the bitch burn. I'm a straight black man and shit. And our community is embattled and shit. Everybody's going in five different directions. Everybody has five different motherfucking pennies, but they don't have no common ground. Okay? Got $1.9 trillion spending power and shit. No political power and shit. Can you, you know, can you motherfuckers dig it, man? Huh? <laughs> R. Kelly's going to jail 31 years, man. Them bitches was there to... You know, there's the same black women to see you on they they'll come in when like roaches when you when you got a shitload of money, when you got the literal bag and shit, help you spend it and then shit on you when you ain't got no more money and shit. Okay? Alright. I think it's one female still in R. Kelly's camp. You know, one of the two females. I think she's still in this camp, who knows? But like that other motherfucker, I think her name is Jocelyn Savage or some shit. You know, whatever. You know, I want you to be like that Takashi guy. <laughs> I want you to be like that motherfucker. I want you to actually. I want both of them motherfuckers to be like Jimmy Hoffa and shit, just on principle alone. All right. So, R. Kelly's gonna do 31 years in jail, and none of the parents that are responsible for parenting their children are gonna uh, incur any consequences, any kind of law, any kind of fine, anything and shit. And they're still gonna be there trying to probably sue him in a civil court for money. All right, money he probably doesn't have and shit. You know, I wish he could produce a movie. Uh, uh, you know, I saw some clip of him in jail and somebody like coerced him into singing a few bars and that guy was golden, man. That's a once in a lifetime talent. You know, in this country, you're a black person with, with your money and shit. When I grew up, they used to say, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. You got to be better, two times better than the white guy and all that shit. Then like in my 30s to like, like late 40s, you know, I came up with this shit where you had to be so good that they hated, they needed you, okay? And that that second ideology has borne itself out and shit. When you see things like, you know, the shit that, you know, Kanye went through. Sorry, I hate saying his name. Uh, and, you know, Kyrie Irving and shit, you know, the shit they went through, man. You know, the shit, these people try to drag their ass and shit. And a lot of you fucking professional athletes, you employees, not the coons. You know, you have to think about that. You know, it's modern day slavery and shit. You know, they, they're always looking. When you're a black dude and you get past that glass ceiling, economic glass ceiling, they only they know what it is. They're, they're constantly coming out after your, your, your money, your coins and shit, your ducats, whatever you call it, you know, the bag. They're always coming out. They want to relieve you of that money. They don't want anybody, any black people to have any uh, generational wealth unless they're a boule or some shit, you know? We got to beat that shit. You know, we have a trillion something dollars spending power shit, but we got no economic, you know, you know, we have no economic uh, ground and shit. Groundwork there. We don't have shit. You know, it's pretty fucked up. I don't know what to say. All I got to say to you young kings, man, you know, when you start getting your bag and everything, you tuck that shit away. Don't tell women what you make. Okay, keep them out of your, your business, okay? Keep them at the periphery. Don't do shit that other guys have done that ended up with, you know, shit like allegations, okay? Don't be alone with them. Get real comfortable with the non-disclosure agreement. Get real fucking comfortable with that shit, okay? I want you to get real comfortable because that's going to save your ass a little bit. Make sure you keep a lawyer on retainer. You know, at the very least, uh, uh, do some legal Zoom or some shit, you know? I'm telling you, you got to watch your, you got to keep your head on swivel. The worst thing that can happen to you and shit outside of, you know, you know, 187 is uh, catching some false, false allegations from a woman lying and shit. You know, some bitch lying. She don't even have to show her face. She can just say shit from behind like like a metaphorical partition. She can throw rocks over there in, at your shit, fuck your shit up. And even if she's lying, she's there's no consequences. You know, I think it sucks, man. Just like we're never going to see a trial of all those assholes that was on those lists for the goddamn Epstein Islands. We're never going to see that. Okay, we're not going to see a bunch of trials. A lot of people is there that need to explain that shit. You know, if they, they actually tried that shit, the, the face of the country would change. Okay, and they ain't going to have that. So, 
you know, until further notice, the name of the game is uh, shooting crabs in a barrel or some shit. You know, the black men, okay? Us black men, we're the most embattled. We're the most put upon. We're the most tortured and attacked every day. Don't listen to these sisters. They ain't talking about shit. They're just, you know, gaslighting. Okay, fuck that, man. All right, fuck that. Yeah, old boys in jail. All right? Keep your head on the swivel. Fuck Fuck the biological weapon. I'm going to make another video about that. R. Kelly singing for a honey bed. My mind's telling me no. But my body, my body's telling me yes. Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody. But there is something that I must confess. R. Kelly singing for a honey bed. My mind's telling me no. But my body, my body's telling me yes. Baby, I don't want to hurt nobody. But there is something that I must confess.